okay so let us start what we'll do is we will connect our fabric interconnects and we will set up both of these fabric interconnects so that these two FIA and FIB mm. both will call your UCS and this is how we will manage okay. let's see we have logged in I will log into FIA fabric interconnect clear line 13 I will say FIA enter there is it I will have another problem. I will explain FIB clear line 14 if you are logging in then my will be out of FIB log in device you can do access switch but what did we do before we did before this is my fabric interconnect so I first log in via admin then connect to local management and then I will say erase the configuration this device will automatically reboot and then we have to wait this takes around 20 minutes so after rebooting this device it loads see loading done and then system comes up so there is one VDC that comes online and this is our question where we are now okay same here where we have same question over here. So there is no configuration on your UCS machines. Yes. So I am on fabric interconnect A. I will say console. I want to log in via console. Set up. Enter the new setup. Yes. I want to set it up. I will say set up. You have chosen to set up a new fabric interconnect. Yes. Strong password. I can say no. CCI DC. Is this in fabric interconnect a part of cluster yes it is what is the switch fabric this is a switch name is fabric interconnect what is the physical ip 10.4.12.51 slash 24 default gateway 10.4.254 slash 24 cluster ip 10.4.12.50 and you don't require a DNS server nor a domain name, no UCS managed central. And if I say save this configuration, yes, save this configuration. Clear? Mm -hmm. We have to wait. We have to wait. Let the configuration file come up. So FIB configure. FIB so, so this one will be your fabric interconnect A. Fabric interconnect B and in dono ke beech mein kya hai? You have two links, right? Your L1 and L2 link. Oh, kitab mein padha tha ki usme se L1 aur L2 ka as such it's kind of a hard bit only. You can see yes. L1, L2. Mandation hai ke. L1 should connect to L1, L2 should connect to L2. This will be your FIA and this will be your FI. Cluster IP, we will give him a cluster IP. That will be your 10.4.12.15. You can log into any of these machines. Ab yahan se, I have my UCS JC over. And you will have your ports going from here to here. Sorry. Yes. Same. Yeah, same. So we have seen, right? How we can set up ports. Set up. Can set up. Right. Or if you if you notice, this device that we have is our sixty one sixty two forty eight. Just a moment. Six two four eight UP and this is how we are connecting. This is for your heartbeat and your failover. So one will be primary, one will be secondary. How it works and all. This is L one L two FIA FIB. 
CMC, chassis management controller, chassis management switch, and FIs are in endos mode, so there is no spanning tree at all. And then, see, this is the port types. I think I have a very good diagram. One more thing here. मैंने अच्छा पीपीटी बनाया तो था वो बात चलो ठीक है उसे देखेंगे बाद में मंसूर वी नहीं लीव दो लेकर लेट्स ही कि मेरा एफआई बूट हो गया क्या ओके दिस हैज लॉग इन यू मस्ट ऑलवेज बी केयरफुल ये आना ही चाहिए एंड लेट्स ही हियर नाउ अगेन आई एम ऑन एफआई वी जस्ट से कंसोल See, it will automatically detect. Installer has detected the presence of a PF fabric interconnect. What should be done? And say yes. Continue. It will ask the security procedure. CCIDC, and then connecting. Okay. So, if you have a fabric problem, you connect. Then, 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 ब्राउज़र में जाके HTTP सॉरी सॉरी एक बार ना मैनेजमेंट टेन डॉट फोर डॉट ट्वेल्व डॉट फिफ्टी टू है ये यस सेव डू कॉन्फ़िगर हाँ क्या कह रहे थे मैंने उसको गलती से क्लाउड का आईपी दे दिया क्लस्टर का और ये आ गया कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फाइल ओके योर यूसीएस इस सेटअप तो फिर मुझे जब ब्राउज़र में जाके चेक करना ह here, you can say here, show cluster in extended state. Show cluster in extended state, it will tell you, member up and member up, heartbeat is okay, primary is okay, eat up, eat too. As of now, this state is invalid for FIB, member state of leads election in progress. So election is going on in the back end and this is as of now. See, this state is up. So both are working fine. Previously it was invalid. Now it is working fine. Now let us connect this FI. For me to connect this FI, I need to. I have the root level access to my UCS server. I have this 5.5 VMware vSphere. I have Windows 7 machine. I just power it on. Power on this virtual machine. So this server is connected to to your UCC CS. Yes. This how see console. It will start eventually. But this uh, server this is this is my virtual machine. The server that is connected over here. I will give the IP 10.4.12.50 cluster IP. Yeah. CMD. IP config. If you want to take the remote of this one, you must take, I think, 172.16.3.183. This is the virtual IP. We have 2.183. So if you want to take the remote of this machine, this will be your 2.183. I'll give you the password. Yes. Advanced and proceed. Proceed over here. Here is my UCS manager. I received the Java file. Let's see. UCS can. This is 2.1. We also have the 3.0.2. We also have the UCS mini over here. If you see UCS Mini, you can also work. Let's let's go in here. Let's keep this file and let's open this one. 
तो कौन से टाइम जोड़ में सिक्स ट्वेंटी टू से सेप्टेम्बर नो बरीज मेरे और सिस्टर से कॉल आया था तो सलूशन मार दिया ये मतलब बोला यार रिलैक्स जीओ के लिए so this is how we will log in admin password option okay so if you want to see this recording at home i yeah, you can see it with vlc player i'll just share it with you see this is the equipment tab server tab okay lan san right. vm admin this right. is a fault summary fault summary also in the admin tab mm. over here we can also filter it like this from here if you want to filter if you say okay i want to see the communication management or the user management you can filter it like this also yeah. the cluster ips so like this and create users who can use microsoft yeah. so equipment will have its own policies as of now you can select the policies okay like like this you can say save changes and on your fabric interconnects as of now there is nothing seen over here right what so equipment equipment has this whole equipment this is the chassis okay. so ucs 5108 it has two fabric interconnects fia is the primary fib is the subordinate this is uplink discovery if if you have to so okay so this two so this one is done now fabric interconnects now if you want to check your diagram so diagram will tell you that port number 1 and 2 goes to the servers and port number 5 is fco uplink port number 6 and 7 will be normal ethernet ports this green means it is fcoe for us as of now so what as of now what we have to do is we have to discover the chassis i added these two ports so it will discover the fi and here i will say these f1 and f uh, port 1 and 2 are both your server port so that is what the two links yes this this one what you will do here is now you will go on the ucs fixed modules ethernet ports see this one and this one both are administratively down select both of them say configure as server ports configure yes configure so happening on ucs fia right? fabric interconnect we are talking about the fabric interconnects okay. let's do the same operation on the other side okay let's do this one fabric fixed module ethernet modules one and two right click configure as server ports yes okay basic server configuration equipment as of now this is administrative down it will come up channel save okay 